All right, guys, we're just cleaning this off here. So this is going to be the last day for the Oliver Bean here. I did some talking with Chad, and we've decided that we are finally going to sell this. And you guys are seeing that in the background. Yeah, this is Bo McAllister's. We were talking for a little bit, and um, I told him, hey, Chad's needing a tractor more than you. How about if I just buy the tractor for the price I get from Chad? And he goes, that seems pretty fair. So I'm like, okay. Because this thing has a lot of hours on it. So after Chad gets this, he's actually going to go up in the case and spray down our fields. And then we're going to do some work to make some money back. We have not been doing much, really, ever since. Just make some money back and cultivate anything, really. Rather than that, let's get around the video. I'm waiting for Chad to get here. I'm not for sure how long it's going to take for him to get here. But we do have to bring this down to the uh, shop and get this all unloaded. Put it in our little storage area. That's about it. Man, as we come out here, crops are looking excellent out here. These will be our earliest crops. So this will be the first of over harvesting. That's probably the best because so we can test out everything, make sure everything's going good. But the reason why we got to make some money is because we got to get on to getting this area built out. So we're having two silos here or one. I think we're going to do one silo because we're going to have all corn and then the rest of it's going to be soybeans. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put all the corn into that silo and then all the beans we're going to harvest are going to go right to the co-op right away. Grain mill. Don't know where exactly, but it's going to go somewhere, that's for sure. Not for sure where Chad's at. I don't know if he's coming here in the morning or what. I believe he's got the money with him. Not for sure. I think we decided on 3500 But we got the old Nova. We got everything moved. But this will be our new tractor, basically. I'm kind of wanting to run up there myself and grab it. Grab the money anyway. Give him the money. I might just tell Chad that he can forget it. I can get it later on to him. Well, I think while we wait, we're going to run this pallet down to the shop. There's nothing else better to do. So we're going to run this down to the shop and come back and wait for Chad. I could call a few farmers and see if they got anything going on. Any fields I can rip up for them see if we can get any big contracts going on i don't think i showed you guys but we did get uh new attachments for this tr truck we got a plow mount on it now and we got a uh we got a gooseneck and we also got a two inch drop so we're good i'll have to show you guys that when we get out here there's tony we'll leave that running jesus loud all right there we go get on this let's get going there we go man that truck is just loud why is that so loud? Should we stack it three high? Can we? Oh yeah, we can. Most definitely. Let's back it up, bring her forward. This is totally not what she approved, but who cares? And then we'll just raise her up, push it in. There we go. I am not liable for that following anybody else. I'm not liable at all. All right, let's get back to the shop. Yeah, so we got this on here now, and then we also got this ball hitch, and we got the gooseneck. Got rid of all that electric bull crap on it. I really didn't care for it. I don't really need all that stuff for the job. I can just do what I need. I don't really need all that stuff. Chat here yet? I'm not seeing him. Do not know when he's getting here at all. All right, we can just get all this set up meantime. I left the door open. Whoops. Let me call a few farmers for a minute and see if they got uh anything for me to do. I'm seeing a lot of contracts out for people that are wanting stuff sprayed with herbicide. I called a farmer and they're like, well, use this. You can check on Facebook and there should be a lot of contracts out there. Man, I'm finding a lot of spraying ones for herbicide. That's for sure. Whenever Chad gets done fertilizing the fields, maybe I'll just tell him to go pick up the herbicide at the place and... uh you can use that. You can just go herbicide a few fields. But I got two contracts for cultivating so far I took. So I go to field 73 and field 76. Those are the two fields I gotta go. But let's get all this set up. Because I know he's not taking that John Deere. I'm not letting him take the John Deere. John Deere's a little too underpowered for that. Let's start this up. Let her run. You can wash it off quickly in the meantime too. While I'm waiting for Chad. Chad takes quite a bit. It's almost 8 o'clock. I've been up since the butt crack of sunrise. So that's really early. I always leave that there. Let's get the case unhooked from the planter. Let's go hook this up to the sprayer. We can wash this and the sprayer off. I detached the sprayer just last night just so I can get it all washed up. Or not washed up, but all all the equipment moved around, I should say. I detached the sprayer because last night I was moving everything around so it fit better in the shop. Not this, but everything else. I wash it right there. There's a bunch of dirt right there. Filthy. All right, we got that all washed off. Perfect. Back this up. And there we go. So I'm not ready just to say go cultivating and not wait for him but he's gonna be wondering what he's doing today plus he's has paying the money yeah i'm just gonna take the money and then run up to bose pay for the tractor get the tractor but man this is a sweet tractor it's a lot of hours but it's clean he kept it up to date that's for sure come on chad any day now i think i'm just gonna cut it from here until chad gets here so i'll just wait for chad to get here and uh get some things done here and i'll be back when he gets here finally look who's here finally how you doing not too bad it's well, about to took the duels off the oliver yeah yeah, and I hey, see you're here a little good. bit late. Huh? <laughs> what are we doing this morning? Uh, actually, as you can see on the truck, I got steps in the bug visor now, but I had to downgrade the rims. Uh, oh. They're not the best looking, but they're just rollers right now. Yeah. Uh, Tony's actually dropping off my old rims. They're, he's going to get them sandblasted and painted for me. Mm. But I got the... Uh, I got the bed on the uh, gator now. I got oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot you were doing that this morning. 
Yeah. You know Derek? Uh, he used to own the campgrounds. Yeah. Yeah, I managed to pick this thing up for him for 750 bucks. A little I... more expensive than the sprayer, but great condition. Oh yeah, definitely. So, uh, what, what you been up to today? Well, uh, this morning, I got the guy, well not this morning, last night I got everything pulled around really. And this morning I went to go drop off a last tank of herbicide over at the shop. Uh, I thought I was gonna thought I was gonna catch you there, but I guess not. But um, then I came back yeah, here, right. washed off the Oliver, got the uh, case attached to the sprayer, I got the John Deere attached to the uh, disc. So yeah. Yeah, I seen that they uh, had a couple extra herbicide pellets. I had to actually uh, run into town and I had a couple phone calls to make real quick. Kind of mm. caught me off guard, but I'm here now. I'm too late. <laughs> yeah, I called um. I got two contracts for today I'm gonna do and you're gonna go up and spray fields for me if that's fine with with you spray yeah, those fine. spray the fields that are that we did we're not so the two not the second field we did the one you did that had all the ruts in it don't do that one cause it's too late for that already right. but the um one I did the one that we didn't do the ones we didn't do I should okay. say you spray down that should be good okay. and then yeah that's I'm gonna go do contracts down in the southeast of county. Uh, uh, what's your last name? Ramirez, Ramirez Farms. They have two fields. One oh, we yeah. do. So I'm gonna go make a couple grand from that, and then at the end I'll pay you for that when you're done spraying those all those fields. Shouldn't take that long though for you, but it's gonna take a lot more longer for me. But all right, but I could just park my trailer with the gator up for a little bit. Yeah, that's I fine. Be the grass. Yeah, because I I can't really make a run home real quick. Cause, yeah. But, um, so, I gotta basically take it up to, uh, Bo. I gotta take it up to Bo's. Um, okay, so I just gotta spray a few fields up there, and I'll make my way back down. If you need any yeah. else work, I'll come over. So, I don't really know what I have in stock today, but, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, that's empty, by the way. Just, you know those three pallets I got? They're all the way up there, waiting for you to fill them up. Oh, okay. So, I bring those hoses that you got up there, just to siphon it in. But, um. Yeah. I, gonna... I see you got a 4440, though. I look pretty sweet. Um, you were wa you were wanting to buy that Oliver, right? Yeah, I was. Talking, if you want to buy it for, I said thirty five hundred. Yeah. I told Bo I'd pay thirty five hundred for the tractor, and he said it's a deal. So if you want to pick up the Oliver today or whatever, thirty five hundred okay. bucks and it's yours. I think I could do that. All right. Yeah. I just got the uh, I got the trailer lights to work. Um, those finally work now, so I have, hopefully I'm DOT approved. But yeah, I can I can probably pick it up later today, probably in the afternoon though. Okay, well, if your truck can't handle it, then I can haul it up there myself. Yeah, that might be a good idea if you can hold it up with Dooley, because that's a lot of weight. Yeah, it is. Um, but I'm going to move my truck, and then I'll uh, get started on the top field. All right, sounds good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave from here, so. Alrighty. All right, sounds good. All right, so we just sold the Oliver. I'm going to move this Oliver action inside, and then, so it doesn't get stolen or anything. Then I'll lock my truck up. We're going to have to get that John Deere out. I'll pull this out. I'm kind of scared about this Nova. We're going to... Eh, I think I'll be fine. There we go. Oh, hold on a minute. Let me pull over this side. There he goes. A little shot of these doors. Locked in two. There we go. Let's get going. Field 73 and 78. That's quite a bit, but we got it. So this is basically my new tractor. So we're going to make some money back. We're making all of our money back today, basically, in it. So basically, I'm going to be getting four grand no matter what, really. Actually, I'll be making back $500, so that's good. But this seems sweet. I think I'm just going to keep it for the meantime. And then when we make more money, I'll feel more comfortable paying the four grand to him. Or $3,500, just to say. So that's what I'm probably going to do myself. So we're just going to get those last fields um, sprayed off. And those will build more better yield. Then the two fields are too late for fertilizing. I kind of waited around too late to fertilize. It's kind of my fault, but oh well. Turn our hazards while at it. But guys, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, you guys can really help me out if you guys went down. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. It will notify you when the best farm sim videos come out on this channel. Also, comment down where you guys saw the video, and also share out the video to other friends so they can see or watch the best farm sim videos that are out there. So yeah, guys, thank you. There's Tony. Old Tony. Tony Baloney, we call him. I know Bo told me back in the 80s, or yeah, 80s, late 80s, they bought this tractor brand new. So he's had this tractor ever since it came out of the production line in Moline. So that's pretty cool to see that this is his own tractor. I, I think he's kind of heartbroken about selling it, but it happens, you know. You gotta sell what you gotta sell. They put an aftermarket air scoop exhaust on it, as you guys can see. Pretty sweet. I still got my Corteva hat on. Remember I came out here in the middle of 
spring or winter actually and did this did all these fields now they're all weeded up because they haven't planted anything on them yet kind of sad to see that i believe it's this field right here right in front of us uh yep it is this thing just eats it down like the case i swear i'm so glad we got this tractor but like i said i think we're just gonna wait both of we can just borrow for the rest of summer and i think that's what i'm gonna do it's just gonna borrow it and then whenever uh, I feel comfortable buying it, then we will buy it. But that's just what I have the plans on for now. Hopefully no more ruts are created in, that, in those fields. I know he felt bad, but it wasn't a lot. I saw the damage. I think you guys did too, but it wasn't really that much. It's nice having two tractors now, so he can go do what he wants to do, or what I need him to do. And then, meanwhile, I can go do this, whatever I need to do meantime. Maybe if he wants to, maybe he can both swap off. Whenever he's done with all those fields, and I'm done with this field, we can swap off. I think we're just going to do this one field, and then we're going to do the other one later, because I have to haul that tractor for him well we were just about done with this field it's coming along pretty well i just sat around for a little bit had to make a few phone calls listen to them the news quite a bit of interesting stuff going around town they apparently caught a couple kids breaking into that diner that me and chad went to a few days ago so that's pretty cool you know all these teenagers around here nowadays just breaking and stuff you know when i was a kid it wasn't really much doing of that really they were like 16 17 i don't know how they were but when i was 16 or 17 i was out working man that's what all of us should be doing. Is that working? Not trying to break down these businesses, really, you know? But, uh, man, this tractor's just so comfy. I like it. Well, that's nice to hear. Gas prices, diesel prices are at an all-time high right now. Huh, spent, like, almost 200 bucks just pumping up diesel in my tractor the other day. Crazy. It's just getting crazy out here, day by day. Let's finish this last bit. Let me see where Chad's at. I can see him on my phone because I got a little track in my case so it's pretty cool i'm gonna put one on this one too looks like he's just making his way back to the farm right now so we'll do this other field and then we'll be good well, not this other field but we'll do that in another episode we'll do that later just gotta tell him to wait so let's hope this is the bigger one i really don't care if it's the bigger or smaller one bigger or smaller pain one let's go back and let's go up to this house and let's get our money well i got them misnamed really but well actually that was field was the mirror this is but this is the johnson farm basically this is like the closer johnson farm not the one an hour and a half away. So basically, a while back, I got warned by Bill. He was like, hey, so there's some kids who've been tracking around uh, the property. When I actually store all my stuff on his property, he was like, hey, so there's a bunch of these kids just running around, walking around, stealing stuff, just letting you know, be careful, because if someone gets stolen out of their track, just call the police or call me right away. I'm like, all right, so what? Uh, it didn't happen, but I guess the one of the boys in that group was their kid, uh, the Johnson's kid. So, and I've heard he's been going to juvie ever since. I should went the other way. That'd be faster. Now we're gonna be going back down to another field sometime today, anyway. So, or tomorrow at least. We got our fields now done. So I guess now basically what we can do is we know can make money for us of the year, and then until harvest season, that's all we can do. So that's pretty. It's a pretty good system to get going on. All right, let's turn our hazards on. I'll see if Chad. Sh well, it showed Chad was pulling up to the farm, but. Might have left again. I don't know. I'll have to ask how much fertilizer he used. There couldn't be that much he used. I hope he didn't go in the other field. I should have told him just. I think I. I only told him to do those three fields. But next time we're doing this, we gotta be a little bit more cautious. We gotta make sure we do our fertilizing earlier than when we're doing it now. How was that? Hey. Uh, pretty good. Got all the fields sprayed that you wanted. See, so you got the uh, 4440 position in your real height. Yes, sir. You're gonna, you're gonna have to upgrade to a bigger shed here soon. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I plan on. Well, the reason why I'm. We're going to be doing a lot of work after we get all of our fields done. is so that we can just have enough money to build over there. We're going to build one silo. And then we're going to build a shed next to it. So we can store a bunch more stuff in there. Yeah. So then we don't have to have two. Sh so we don't have to have one shop completely filled up with equipment. So I don't know if I'm yeah. going to build a shop first. I'm going to build the silo. I'm planning on building the silo first. So we're going to store all of our corn in that silo. And then all of our soybeans are going to go right to the co-op right away. So I plan on. Right. So. So if you follow me over here to our trucks, how are we going to get this all over home? Because I have a heavier trailer, but you have the heavier truck. And I got the gator on the back right now. Like, we, we could probably swap the gator on the trailer and just swap the trailers. I've used this trailer to haul the uh, Oliver before. It worked pretty good. Okay, then we could just use this for the Oliver then. Yeah, it should be good. So. Yeah. All right. So, do you want to load that up now, or do we want to wait for a little bit? Yeah, you got the money? I have the money in hand. Okay. All I right. I stopped the bank earlier, so. Okay, here. here and then go. I'll get the title for it. Should be had it in like a little compartment right here. Yeah, yeah, that's probably not the best keep it in there, but never seen a rainy day. So there you go. Sign that. We're just gonna load it up on the back of your truck then. Yeah, and I can burn it up there. Yeah. So let me back my truck up. Oh, I'll back my truck up. Ah, uh, turn it to the right a little bit. Oh, back to the left. Keep going a little bit. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Pull it up. Keep going, and then right about there, we should be good. There we go. I'll put these up. There we go. Got the pin in. Alrighty. Yep. Um, do you want to go first and I'll follow you? Yeah. 
Well, let's shut down the uh, shed real quick. So it's All right. Wide open in case if anyone wants to try to steal some. Yeah, did you hear the news today on the radio? I did not actually. Yeah, some kids broke into the diner and they got caught. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. What do they think they were doing? I don't know. Trying to cook burgers, I guess. I don't know. All right, well, here we go. First load. And then take the turn here. Man, this is a heavy load. Not as heavy for the... It was heavier for the 2500 than this truck, but it doesn't help this truck's running on 10 lug axles. Here we go. Let's get a little launch on this thing. There we go. Get a little boost on this thing. This thing's nice. But people were thinking, like, why does this have, like, a gas motor dash in it? Like, doesn't have the transmission temperature and everything. Well, mainly... Because this guy, I think Chad said something about this guy swapped out the dashes, I guess. I don't know. And they, he couldn't find anything else at the moment, so he just ordered one of these. I don't like not knowing what the temperature of the training is, but uh, I'm about to show off to Chad a little bit. Show him I can back up all the way down the driveway. Oh, he knows. Oh, he knows. Let's get these ramps here. You want to pull her off? Yeah, I got her. All right. Let me get these. Oh, you got the straps off? Okay. Yeah, I got the straps off. You good? Clear? Yeah, yeah it's clear. Yep. Don't know where I'm going to store this, but we'll find a place. Yeah, you get Thank that. You, sir. Yeah, no problem. But, uh, yeah, this is the Gator with its bed on it now. It's looking pretty good. I'm actually gonna undo these straps real quick. Yeah, here. I like it. There you go. Yeah, I'll have to unload it at a later time, but for right now, it's looking pretty stout. But, yeah, 750 bucks and I got that bed. Yeah, that's about all for right now. Uh, I think I, I have to head out of town for a little bit. Uh, I gotta deliver some business paperwork and stuff. Um, mainly for the bank. I got uh, loan installments to pay, but for right now, I think we're doing pretty well. Yeah. Oh, hey, I forgot. I'll uh, pay you. Here, we'll get you a little bit more than last time. You did a lot more today. There you go, 600 bucks. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Yep. I'll, uh, I'll fix up your Ford. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Or my yeah, GMC. Yeah, the rim. Alrighty. Oh, so, thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. I'll uh, see you later. I'll see you later. Yep. All right, so there's really nothing else to do today. This is literally just that other field of disc up. That's all we got. And I think I'm just going to save it for tomorrow. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. It really helped me if you guys went down. Hit the like button. Subscribed. Also, hit the bell notification after you subscribe. It will notify you when the best farm sim videos come out. Also, comment down where you guys saw the video. And also, share out the video to your other friends. It really helped me out, guys. So, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.